Sophia M and I am a mental wellness coach. I just want to talk to you today about women empowerment and not just in the sense of how it's been done. Um, I think we're really grateful for all the developments that have been made and all the strides that have been taken by different people across the globe on women empowerment. But today I wanted to talk about women empowerment in terms of how we as women support each other and how important that is for our communities. As a woman myself, I believe women are pretty much the cornerstone of our communities. We raise children, we take care of our families, and a lot of it is really from our nurturing nature, which I think is a really powerful trait within women. And I feel like a lot of that builds our communities up and really strengthens our communities. When a woman is confident in who she is as a caregiver, it's really an amazing thing because the, the children that are raised in that home and the people that she interacts with really grow up and move into life with a sense, a really strong sense of self, a really strong sense of self-worth, a strong sense of identity. And so it's really important that the woman is empowered but now when it comes to women to working together, sometimes we just don't get it right. Many times women are very aggressive with each other and not very tolerating of each other. We actually tend to backbite a lot and sabotage the next person's progress. And I, I don't know why this that, that's the case, but that's ha that happens a lot. The, the phrase or the terms catfighting those things come from women just always being catty with each other when it's not necessary. And I feel it destroys the core of where our societies are going because if women cannot support each other, we cannot support the strengthening of the environment. We cannot support building each other up. We cannot support um, our values as a, as a, sister, as a family, as a community as a people and so it's really important that women start to stand together in pushing this common agenda because when women do well when women start succeeding it will build so many others up and that's why I think that's really an important thing and when it comes to women mentoring each other that's also a very important thing in our communities because if I've made it I should be able to empower my sister on and and just give her information on how I made it without having to sound arrogant or boastful. It shouldn't be such a big task for me to just share what I've learned in my journey. And that's that's where a lot of women aren't getting it right. That's where a lot of people aren't getting it right. It's important that we share our journeys as women and share our successes and even share our failures because some lessons do come through failures, do come through setbacks in life. And so it's really important that women build each other up and we share those stories, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I feel as a mentor to another woman, it's important that you share honestly and openly. Just like I just said about sharing our highs and our lows, because as you teach someone, as you guide someone, as you support someone in their own journey, they need that vulnerability from you so they can also learn how to be vulnerable. We need to create safe spaces for women. We need to create safe spaces for each other because no one knows the struggle of another woman as another woman does. Men, most of the time, cannot relate to our context as women because they don't go through most of the things we go through. In terms of discrimination in the boardroom or discrimination in the workplace or harassment or issues of abuse or issues of um, just being disadvantaged in different communities so as women we really need to start building each other up and continuing to support each other and supporting and strengthening the systems that support women within our communities thanks guys i really feel with, with a lot of those things men cannot relate because men don't really experience most of it the same way women do and it may happen to them but it's never in the same degrees 
so it's always something that you have to look at as a woman and say there are women that i work with here or there are women in, within my community that are experiencing these things how can i be a mentor to them how can i support them through their own journey because i can relate to their struggle you can relate contextually and that's the power of, of mentoring each other and empowering each other and not just waiting for someone out there to come in and rescue us as women i feel it's very important to discard the damsel in distress um, syndrome i feel like we need to stop waiting for someone else to rescue us we need to actually step into that space and start coming up with solutions for the issues that we face as women and when we stand together as women in dealing with those issues our solutions are more effective they are much more effective because they are coming from someone who understands it fully who understands the full context of what's happening and so that's why it's so important for women to step into those spaces and start empowering each other and i feel as as a woman to woman mentor i feel it's also important that you can relate on an emotional level with the next person i think the sensitivity to someone else's pain the sensitivity to someone else's plight is something that is so crucial when you're helping someone because people don't really open up as much anymore the world we live in is so cold in terms of just emotionally being distanced from each other we don't connect as much anymore and so it's so important when you start to when you want to empower someone else or when you want to support someone else that you relate to them on an emotional level and you connect with them because when people feel like they're cared for when people feel like they are wanted or they're um, being loved or welcomed people do tend to do better people perform better in situations and in environments that are more nurturing to them that are more caring that are more welcoming that are more warm and that's what i would encourage women to be to each other we need to stop the hostility we need to stop the, the violence against each other it may not be physical but just the culture of talking about each other behind our backs talking about the next person and what she did and what she's doing or assuming or spreading rumors about someone that culture needs to end we actually need to step into a place where if you hear something about another woman maybe in the workplace you defend her not because you fully know the facts but just from a place where it's not okay to tarnish someone else's image it just shouldn't be okay to make someone else sound like the worst person in the environment when you never really hear men going on and on and on about the guy next door but women do it so much and that's something we need to stop as a culture we need to actually uproot whatever that is whatever that um hatred or jealousy whatever it, wherever it came from we actually need to need to uproot it so it's it's another thing that as women we need to step up and change the cultures and the systems around how we deal with each other I think if we come from a place of forming sisterhood, forming safe spaces for women, forming support groups, forming um, circles where women are accepting of each other, we will actually start to change or see changes within our societies, within our communities. And little girls won't grow up in competition with each other anymore. They will grow up with the mentality that I have to pick my sister up I have to fix my sister's crown and that's where we should be that's where we should be going that's what we should be aiming for I have two daughters and one of the biggest things I what I am concerned with is how girls treat each other on the playground it's such a small thing but you find that you actually need to groom them from a young age to nurture each other to take care of each other so as women i believe we're all queens in our own right and we all need to learn how to fix each other's crowns we all need to learn to stand together in solidarity empower each other and encourage each other to keep going to keep going further up to keep going higher and to keep reaching for our dreams thanks ladies